So what I'm doing today is I'm changing the risers. Uh, these risers, stock risers are on there. These risers came from Moto, uh, England. So you can see that they uh, are a little taller and they step back a little more. I'll compare them, I'll show you when I take them off. But what I've done is I've taken the seat off. I always find it's easier to take the seat off, pull that little nut, that bolt, and slide the tank back. You might not be able to see perfectly, but right up here there's a little clip uh, that holds the wires. I, I like to pull that back and give myself a little bit of working room here. Cover your tank. Okay. Okay, there we go. Motone, I guess that's how you call it, Motone risers are installed. It's actually pretty straightforward. Uh, these are the original risers, so you can see how they sit out on a bit of an angle, and then when the riser clamp goes over it, it's out on an angle. So that system disappears with the new risers they're straight straight up and straight up and down they're not angled out so for some reason i forgot about these outer clamps and when i had the riser on and set the bar in i put the original stock triumph uh, bar clamp on it and the measurements are all off and i happened to look over the table and i saw the motone clamps so it's pretty straightforward, but what I did, I took the tank or the seat off and then lifted the tank up and moved the tank back. And then there's a little retainer for all these hoses and wires here. I undid that and moved those back a little bit. So this nut up here, 14 mil, that bolts into the riser right up in the riser so and these little uh, clamps bar clamps they're six millimeter like a hex bit star bit or actually hex bit yeah so all i did i covered the tank got everything you know it was back but got it out of the way and then i took these the risers off and laid the bars where i wanted them and then onto these loosened them up and just held it and then spun spun the riser off took them off and put that bolt back up in put the new riser down tightened it up same thing on the other side tightened it up put the bars back in kind of where I thought uh, I, you know that I would sorry with that groan where I would like it and what I did to line everything up when these risers are on there's a hashed, like a grip underneath each one of those. I just made sure that it wasn't showing on either side. So that pretty well told me, you know, these are in and they're tightened down. And if your bars are in there and that's not showing on either side, then you're square, you're straight. You know, I could, I did have them off a little bit, a little bit of the hash, the cross hatching showing out here and out here so I just loosened back off shoved them over tighten these all down and then when those were tight then I had something to hold on to I got underneath with the 14 mil and tighten those up but I wanted to tighten those up last thinking you know that I didn't have these askew a little bit uh, you know when you sit on you try to measure everything uh, you know as close as you can by eye but I wanted to make sure that these were centered, the bars were centered in the risers, the clamps were on the top tight, and then if I knew there was nothing showing on either side, 
then I have everything lined up. Then I got underneath and cranked it down instead of having it off a little bit and you would never get the bar to line up right. So your bar and these outer clamp risers kind of force these riser itself, you know, if you're all measured up in here properly, to center itself. And then you've got something here that you can crank on and tighten. So, uh, you know, these dresser bars I put on, these risers now I put on, the windscreen I put on, uh, just a couple more little uh, adjustments. And I like them, you know, the way they sit. My arms sit comfortable here. You roll it back. There's all kinds of room there. All kinds of room. So, it's good.